Now I'm going to talk about uh, a problem called valid anagram. This is on lead code. It is of easy complexity type of problem. The description says, given two strings S and T, return true if T is an anagram of S and false otherwise. An anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase, typically using all the original letters exactly once. The problem becomes more clear when you look at the examples. So uh, we have to detect if T is anagram of S or not. And the definition of anagram is that you can rearrange the letters in T. And if that becomes like S, then T is anagram of S. Like in this case, if you rearrange some of these letters, uh, T would become S. And that is why T is anagram of S and the output should be true in this case. Other example where S is RET and T is CAR, no matter what you do with T, it will never become S. And that is why it is false. What are the constraints? So the length is going to be this much at max. S and T consist of lowercase English letters. So if you are asked about this question in an interview, um, you know, with these conditions, you can very well assume that uh, you might get a follow-up question like what if the inputs contain unicode characters or not how would your solution adapt to such a case but that will be a follow-up question so first you should focus on how you should be um, creating a solution that solves the problem and also can generically scale so I have a bunch of solutions that uh, I am I'm planning to talk in this video and um, first up you know if, if the length of the two strings are not same then that means that you know T is never going to be anagram of S so we have to just return false there. The first solution that I have is, is more like a brute force solution but the solution looks pretty clean to look at and easy to write as well. The intuition uh, for this solution is that for a string to be an anagram of uh, the other string, if you sort both the strings, they should exactly be same. So that is the intuition and that's what I'm doing in this solution. So I have two character arrays and then I'm sorting those arrays. After sorting, I created like two strings from those arrays and then I'm just doing, you know, S1 equals T1. Uh, it, you know, if they, if they are equal, return true, otherwise false. So this code runs perfectly fine and very simple to write, very, uh, you know, simple to see even. And the runtime and memory are also uh, not bad, 5 milliseconds, faster than so many percent of the submissions. Memory is also less than around 30% of the Java online submissions. Now, if we have to talk about the, the time complexity in, in terms of big O and space complexity, so clearly we are sorting the array. And for sorting the array by using arrays.sort method, the time complexity of the solution is O and log N. And space complexity because we are creating uh, arrays, we are creating strings. So space complexity is also O of N. So that's that's what the solution is. Now if you want to improvise the solution and make it um, like improve the time complexity or space complexity, uh, let's look at you know some other solution. So not so much on the space complexity though but I think time complexity by using a frequency type of map which means you know what we are doing so uh, we are creating a map and we are keeping a tap of frequency of characters in the source string which is s and we increment which like a frequency like if a is uh, in that string like three times then the map after the end of this loop would have like you know a and the value of that uh, key is like three and so on and so forth. And then the, in the next loop, we are going to decrement the frequency. And uh, after decrementing, if, we, if um, the value is zero, that means that, you know, it's fully decremented, we can remove it. So at the end of this loop, 
the map should not have anything at all because uh, that's what you know frequency map once you are adding it and then you're removing it and you're removing the element if the frequency itself has gone to zero so this is what you're doing so if the size is equal to zero that means the the map you know the strings uh, the 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 string t could be an uh, you know is an uh, anagram of s so let's run it and uh, before submitting let's talk about the the time complexity in this case so time complexity is clearly this loop is running you know n times this another loop is also running n times so in terms of time complexity is it is o of n and in terms of space complexity there is a map that we have created so that is also um, uh, you know o of n so and you know the put and get operations are considered as o of one so those are not adding anything into the um, time complexity let's try and submit it so the solution gets accepted but this the way you see the runtime is very high in comparison to our brute force solution which seems counterintuitive but that's what it is you know and it depends on like the type of inputs you have for doing all these uh, calculations so uh, as it seems it may just be the the test cases that are being run for this solution do not expose the deficiency of time complexity in the previous solution that we had but from interviewing perspective uh, and and you know from big o perspective this this solution has uh, certainly the better time complexity